now we are going to be honoring our graduates if they wouldn't mind coming up. Eighth grade through college. to say their names and they're going to come up and receive a little gift from the church. First we have Ashley Rebel. She is coming out of 8th grade. <laughs> Next it looks like we've got our mysterious graduate, Abigail Midas. <laughs> Surprise! And she's 8th grade as well as Janelle Hartman. from eighth grade as well. Now our seniors are gonna come up and even our college one and they're gonna give a little spiel on their future plans. So Abby Rebel. What do you plan on after high school? I am going to pursue a degree in business administration, organizational leadership, and youth ministry at Calvary University. <laughs> now we've got Elka Billings from Crest High School as a senior. What are your future plans after high school? Um, I would be running cross country and track and field at Allen Community College and plan on majoring in accounting. Our college graduate, Julie Hartman, is going to give a little bit of a spiel on her plans. Might be a little longer, so. <laughs> yes, it's going to be a little longer. So first, I'm going to share my plans. I will be moving eight hours away Aww. to Louisville, Kentucky to work at Southeast Christian Church. And that's where Kyle Alleman is, but that does not mean I'm going to become a celebrity. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll be working in their foster care and adoption ministry. I didn't really know what I was going to do after school. I just knew that I wanted to get out of Joplin. And so I was just applying to a lot of different things, and this is what opened up. So that's what I'll be doing. It's a two-year residency, and so I'll be... Um, Visiting even more or less often, which is kind of sad because I will only have um, a limited vacation time. But I'll be excited to share um, through Pam maybe or just some updates about what I'm doing. So that's what I'm doing. And then the next part is thank yous. I, um, it's crazy to think that I'm graduating college. I didn't know if I would make it. <laughs> been four years, long and hard years of work and tears and a lot of driving and decisions and choices, but um, I've made it and it wouldn't be possible without the support from all of you guys, from my family, from Janelle, from my church in Joplin, and from sp some specific names I want to drop out here. Cindy McGee has been amazing in my life, and she has earned daring of sending money through college. I know you guys have also helped me with missions trips and things like that. She's been there whenever I needed to call her <laughs> about whatever, and she just talked to me and housed me when I needed it and helped me know that I was going to get through this, so I'm very thankful for you. And Arlene back there has always been a big part of my life and helped me through a lot of stuff and been there to talk to me, go on the golf cart, um, talk out on the porch, and just help me um, learn more about myself and how God and is using me and what 
he's asking me to do. Um, also, the Rebel family, while I've been gone, I've been very thankful for IU taking care of my family and that we have a youth group now that we didn't have when I was younger and how Janelle has grown through that. I cannot thank you enough for that. And so I just wanted to thank you guys and I love you so much, all of you, and how you have played a part in my journey and even those people that aren't here today. And lastly, I think finally, after all these years, I know what I want to do. <laughs> these two kids who didn't want to come up, which is fine, and their brother who's not here, have been my ministry the past two years. I have stepped in in a role that God has asked me to do in their family gladly and been a church mom figure, I guess, and loved on them. And they have taught me a lot about life and love and ministry. And so I think what God has asked me to do through this next phase of my life is to take care of the orphans and widows, as it talks about in James. He says, religion that God our Father accepts as pure and faultless is this, to look after orphans and widows in their distress and to keep oneself from being polluted by the world. So I don't know exactly you know, what that's going to look like, but I know that that is what I'm passionate about. And I pray that you guys will keep praying for me and my family, but also to look for the orphans and widows where you are and take care of them because God loves them so much. So that's my school. <laughs> Now we would like um, the elders and parents of these graduates and anybody else who wants to come up so we can pray around them and for their future. Show us your power. 